welcome to story time. I'm Miss Hannah and we're on our second week of our unit author and illustrator. Now what author should we cover today? I don't know. What? It... Oh hi Mouse! How are you? You're good? I am so glad that you're good. Should we read about your author? Should we read your author today? Mouse says we should definitely read about his author. His author is Laura Numera, and his illustrator is Felicia Bond. So should we read some? Should we read some of her books? Now her most famous book is has to do with this right here, your cookie. But I think we should read some for more you some for other ones. Should we read the sequels? Okay, Mouse says we should. All right, you go sit over here. You sit right over here. Well, I'll get the book. Okay. Okay. So, Mouse says we should read some Laura Numeroff books. She's our author, and Felicia Bond is our illustrator. And this is our first book. If you give a mouse a brownie. If you give a mouse a brownie, by, written by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a brownie, he'll once he's gonna ask for some ice cream to go with it. When you give him the ice cream, he'll ask you for a spoon. He'll start drumming the table. Drumming will get him so excited, he'll want to start a band. You'll have to play the guitar, obviously. He'll want to put on a show. So you'll have to build a stage. You'll need some spotlights and a microphone. When the stage is all finished, he'll want to make lots of tickets. So you'll have to find paper and markers when the tickets are all done, he'll decide to make posters as well. He'll hang them all over the neighborhood. Look at all the places he's hanging them. Can you see them all? And this says, Rock Concert! While he's out hanging them, it might start to rain. He'll fold up some posters and make a little boat. Then he'll sail it on a puddle. See him? He's the captain. He'll get so wet, he'll start to sneeze. Can you sneeze with me? Ah, 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 achoo! You'll have to put him in your pocket to, to stay nice and warm. When he peeks out of your pocket, he'll smell something delicious. Do you see him right there? Smelling something? The smell will remind him that he's so hungry! You'll have to take him to the store and get a few things to nibble on. Of course, he'll want to have a picnic! When the sun comes out, you'll have to take him to the park. While you're setting up the picnic, he'll see the playground. He'll jump on the swings. While he'll go as high as he can. When he looks up at the sky, he might notice a big, white, fluffy cloud. This cloud will remind him of ice cream. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks you for some ice cream, if you give him some ice cream, he'll want what? A brownie to go with it. How silly is that? Should we do a cookie activity? Should we play a game with that? Since that's Miss Numeroff's most famous book, if you give a mouse a cookie, I think we should. Let's do it. The game I had is called who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Now, I have my own cookie that I made here. It's just a chocolate chip cookie. 
and I asked one of my kids if I could borrow their dolly so that we could do the game. He said, yes, so here's what we're going to go. We're going to go, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? And I've got, Trixie stole the cookie from the cookie jar. And she would say, who, me? Yes, you. It couldn't be. Then who? Hmm. Henry stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Did Henry take it? Who, me? Yes, you. It couldn't be. Then who? Hmm. Who stole it? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? <gasps> Katie stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. It couldn't be. Then who? Who stole the cookie? <gasps> Teddy stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. It couldn't be. Then who? Then who? <gasps> Miss Hannah stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. You're right. I didn't. I didn't. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, how fun was that? How silly of a game. You can play that at home. All you need is... Is a pretend cookie. Do you think you could make one? Maybe. All right. Oh, oh. Yes, did you have something to add? You think we should read another book? Another book by Laura Numeroff? Okay, we can do that. Let's read another story. Mouse said we should read another one of his stories. So I've got one. This is If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. This is also, once again, by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. I'll get to my page, silly thing. If you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. Not Christmas, Mouse. You're so silly. You'll have to buy him one. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Then he'll need a carrot for its nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. He'll ask you to help him. Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to some Christmas carols. You'll have to find some on the radio. He'll probably sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to make some ornaments. You'll get him some paper and some glue. He'll ask you for glitter. When the ornaments are done, look at all the ornaments that he made. So many. He'll want to hang them all up. Then he'll stand back and look at the tree. He'll notice that the popcorn string is missing. So he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are, if he wants some pop, if you give some popcorn, he'll want you to take him to the movies. How silly. That was kind of a Christmas themed one, but it's still a fun one for Mouse. Oh, what's that, Mouse? Tell me again, tell me again. We should do the big word. Okay, well, we'll go do that. The big word for this unit is a double big word. It's author and illustrator. We do them together because they go together. It's in a book. The author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. Can you do it with me? Here we go, ready? One, two, three. In a book, the author writes the words 
and the illustrator colors the pictures. Let's do it again. Here we go. One, two, three. In a book, the author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. One, two, three. In a book, the author writes the words and the illustrator colors the pictures. Good job. Do you want to see what I've got planned for you for this special craft? Let's do it. All right, Mouse, are you ready? You are? Okay, should we show them what their craft is going to be? All right, All right you go get... Oh, Mouse, Mouse, come back here. Oh, you're right, Mouse. I put a template in for your own cookie so you can be like Mouse and me and have your own cookie. And you can play... Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? So there's a template for a cookie in the description down below. Would you like to say goodbye this time, Mouse? All right, I'll put down my cookie. All right, ready? Goodbye! Good job.